One of my favorite horror franchises of all time is Resident Evil. And this is a franchise, guys, that, of course, like any that are massive juggernauts like this, have peaks and valleys. I think some of the Resident Evil games uh, were not as good as others. And for the most part, though, Resident Evil as a whole has been an incredible franchise. And I want to talk about Resident Evil 9 in particular here, a game that we all know is coming at some point or another. Don't know the name of it or anything of that nature, but we know it's coming, but I want to talk about everything that we want out of this title. And I'm going to give you guys my opinions here, and I would love to hear yours in the comment section down below. So let's get into it. So guys, Resident Evil 9, I'm going to give you five things that I want out of this title. So coming in at number one, the big one for me, guys, when we talk about AAA titles, I talk about this and pound this table all the time about this. And that is a full package. Now, I know that we have Resident Evil Reverse, but what I would love to see here with Resident Evil 9 is a full package from the perspective of single player story, multiplayer experiences, and co-op modes, where number one, you have a single player experience that uh, you play through and you can learn all about the story and, and the lore and the legacy of where they're trying to go with the story. And then you have co-op modes where you can play with your friends going up against waves and waves of enemies potentially or playing the story together with your friends and uh, being able to, you know, go through that story and experience together with, with other people. And then lastly, playing against other people across the globe in the form of a multiplayer experience. And I think if it's specific to Resident Evil 9, it could really, you know, hit home in a major way. Um, and that's something that I would absolutely love to see. Coming in at number two for me, the big question people in the community have been asking themselves is, is Resident Evil 9 going to be more like Resident Evil Village, more like Resident Evil 7, more like Resident Evil 5? What, where is, where are they going with this? And in my personal opinion, I want them to make Resident Evil 9 more like Resident Evil 7. Resident Evil 7 Biohazard was that true horror experience that I always knew was, you know, ingrained in Resident Evil. Now, Obviously, I loved Resident Evil Village. I thought that was awesome. Resident Evil 5, I really enjoyed that one as well. That was a great experience. You know, having more action-based, you know, uh, play over horror. I was okay with it with Resident Evil 5. But with Resident Evil, you know, 7 and Resident Evil Village, there's been more horror elements over action. And that's really what Resident Evil is all about, in my personal opinion, is more horror over action. You definitely have action in those games, but it's definitely you're prioritizing the horror elements over the action. And I think that going the route of being more like a Resident Evil 7 would be absolutely incredible. I have a feeling that it's going to be more like Village, uh, just because of the popularity and things of that nature, even though 7 was very popular too. I would like to see it more like Seven. What would you guys like to see it more as? More as like Village, more like Biohazard, or more like, you know, one of the action over horror titles like a Resident Evil 5. Coming in at number three for me, one of the things, guys, um, that I love about Resident Evil are the different puzzles, right? That's what, it's, it's iconic to the Resident Evil franchise, is having a lot of different puzzles and trying to solve, you know, where you're supposed to be going, what you're supposed to be doing. And this, of course, they had a lot of this in, in you know, pretty much all the titles, but it felt like they had a lot more in Resident Evil Village than they did in, you know, other games in recent memory in the Resident Evil franchise. I'd like to see less puzzles in uh, Resident Evil 9 than we saw in some of the other titles. Not that I want them to go away completely from the puzzle solving and things of that nature, but I would love for them to kind of lessen it because I noticed a lot where um, whenever there's a lot of puzzles, it sometimes takes you out of the experience because, you know, especially if you get frustrated trying to figure out a specific puzzle, sometimes that can, you know, draw you away from the game. Instead, I think having puzzles and having it very calculated where you're putting them is very important. Um... Because then, you know, if you're not having them all the time, but you're having them, you know, consistently enough, 
um, it's going to keep you engaged where you really want to see what happens next. So you solve the puzzle, you figure it out. And so I would just like to see though, at the end of the day, less puzzles in Resident Evil 9. Coming in at number four for me, I would love to see a lot more customizable options where you're able to upgrade some of your gear, whether it's your weapons, things of that nature. I'd love to have, you know, just a lot of customizable options for, uh, from your character to your weapons. I think that would be really cool. Kind of raise the bar even to another level when it comes to customizable options. And lastly, guys, at number five for me, I'd love to see them have a roadmap here, like a season pass or something of that nature where they've got a number of different DLC uh, content that uh, is planned to come out for Resident Evil 9, which you know, at the end of the day, after you're done playing the game a couple of times, um, you have something else to look forward to. That being like a, like a roadmap, essentially, of a season pass or, you know, DLC, things of that nature that will be coming at some point down the road. But let me know, guys, what are the five things that you want to see out of Resident Evil 9? I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts in the comment section down below. And for more Resident Evil 9 content and videos, stay here with Zero TV.